In this video, I'm going to show you a few operations from calculus that could be useful in uh, SMAT Studio. Uh, remember, SMAT Studio is not an algebraic, uh, computer algebraic system. Therefore, you should not expect to have a lot of um, important calculus operations in it, but we're going to show you a few of the operations that are available. I'm going to use this worksheet, increase it 25% size, and some of the operations that you can do are derivatives, summations, products, and integrals. And um, it turns out that summations and products are specifically numerical operations whereas uh, derivatives are symbolic and integrals are also numerical. To produce a summation, you're going to click in the worksheet and find the summation symbol right here. And I will provide you with entries for the index, the beginning value, the ending value, and the expression to type. For example, I got here the summation from 1 to infinity, the 1 over k squared. And if I say equal here, I obtain the value, the value 1.4636. I could try a um, symbolic result here if I type, if I delete the 5 up above and find my infinite symbol from this panel, and then I type control equal but it, it refuses to give me that result. In any other computer algebraic system, you will get this to be pi squared over 6. In SMA Studio, you cannot do symbolic summations. You have to change this upper number to some final value, and integer value, of course, to obtain that particular result. Now, we calculate pi, control G, squared, Face bar divided by 6 equals, you start getting close to that result. I'm going to change this to 1,000 and start getting close to that particular value. But in general, these summations are numerical mainly. The same thing with products, the product of 1 over s from s equal 1 to 5, the equal sign gives you that result 0.083. And this is actually the the factorial of 6, and that could also be calculated by tapping 6, and the exclamation mark equal, which is the well-known symbol for factorial. In terms of derivatives, these are a little bit um, more uh, on the symbolic type, and that's the one kind of operation that ESMA Studio does well in terms of derivatives. And for that, you need this symbol, the derivative symbol, and then you start plugging in parentheses there for the derivative that you're going to calculate and indicate the variable for the derivation. And I've done that in here. And again, again, this has to be symbolic, so you do control dot, or you use the arrow here. And I use the arrow, and, and I obtain my first derivative. For second derivative, you have to create this enclosed derivative of the second derivative. And so it is not very easy to write as you would do in another computer algebraic system, but you can calculate derivatives this way. If you do control dot here, you obtain the next derivative of this result. So derivatives are basic symbolic calculus for us, summations and product are numerical. And the same thing with integrals. Integrals, to produce an integral, you click in the worksheet, find the integral symbol right here, and start filling up the integrand, the vital integration, and the lower and uh, upper limits. For example, this particular result would give me 0.5404, whereas this particular result would give me 23.5962.